everybody, it's Luke with Figure Me Out. Today we've got the Mezco 112th uh, Doctor Strange action figure. Here's the front of the box here. On the top we've got the 112th Collective embossed in black. On the bottom we've got some uh, legal mumbo jumbo. On the right we've got a, uh, another nice uh, picture there. And uh, same thing on the other side. On the back we've got a picture of him and all the stuff that he comes with. So we've got the alternate hands, the astral projection, eye of Agamotto's. We'll go over that here in a second. So. There's everything there and some nice pretty pictures of him. And uh, let's go ahead and get this thing open. First off, there is a sleeve underneath that. There's one of those impossible to put back pieces of uh, paper. I already went ahead and opened this thing. So there's what the inside of the box looks like. It's just your standard Mezco uh, cardboard box. Here he is out of the box, and uh, so let's go over some accessories first. What do you say? So first off, let's talk about some hands. So we've got a few different hands here. We've got the uh, rock concert hands. We've got the uh, hi, how you doing hands. Uh, we'll put that to the side here for just a second. Stand up. Oh, there we go. We've also got a few other hands. We've got uh, a couple of closed fists because you always got to have closed fists, you know. So we got those. We also have a uh, pew pew finger guns hand. So if you want to use that, you can. It's a lot of fun. And we've also got the uh, reach out and grab you kind of hand. I think that's the um, is that the cover of that System of a Down album, the first one. Anyway, uh, hopefully somebody got that. Anyway, we also get the uh, Eye of Agamotto. We've got that closed and open. And if you wanted to switch that out, it's very simple to do. You just pull on the chest here. Pull it really, really hard until you feel like you're about to snap it. No, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Don't, don't break your fingers, guys. We pull it out here and... Uh, okay, there we go. We've got a little peg here, and we can just swap that out real easy. There's only one way that it goes in, so if you think you're going to get it, you know, get a lazy eye of Agamotto, you're not. It only goes in one way, so that's fun. But I like the uh, open one, so I'm going to keep it here with the open one because I think that's cool. So, boom, open eye. And I like these hands on them too, and we're going to leave those on for the duration of the review. All right, next things we got, we got some uh, blasty effects, so those are kind of fun. Um, this one looks like some sort of just a star, kind of something on there. It's got a lot of intricate detail in there, um, kind of hard to see, and that does just kind of come back here. That plugs around his hand uh, easily enough. Um, I think, oh, I think I may have just broke it. Yeah, I think I just broke it. Whoops. That's okay. Uh, it'll still hold. But yeah, that just kind of goes around his hand, so you can have him casting spells, things like that if you want to. Um, you could even take the hand off, might make it a little easier. Uh, the other one we've got is this uh, yellow with kind of like green highlights on the end. I think that one's really cool. It's got like the Deathly Hallows symbol right here, or something similar. I don't know, everybody's doing triangles nowadays. But uh, got that, got some uh, filigree kind of stuff in there, all sorts of fun things, you know. It's, uh, it's like those Marvel Legends, you always get the circle with the uh, little stars around it. Same one for everybody, but Doctor Strange, I feel like this is kind of cool because he's got the very unique... Spell casting hands it looks very spell like, in my opinion. I don't know. Uh, next thing we got, we got the astral projection, so that's kind of fun. It's just a translucent piece of plastic there. Um, looks pretty good from either the front or the back. And then actually just clips on the stand, so if you were to go and pose him on the stand, you can just take this and snap it right in there, and uh, it looks pretty good. We'll have some pictures at the end of him on the stand doing that, so it'll make a little more sense there. And then uh, other accessories, we've got the cape, we'll get to that in a second. We've got the uh, stand itself, which has the, uh, the logo there. I think that looks really good. Just kind of nothing on the back. Um, it's got the little arm. It's articulated here, here, and uh, up at the top. It does rotate, and there is a little clip at the top. I really do like the Mesco stands. I feel like they're pretty good quality uh, for what you're getting. And the other piece that we get is we do get the little, um, I don't know if you can see it or not, the little button that goes in here if you wanted to not have that and just have a peg hole for the foot instead. So you can do that. And so the last accessory that we have is of course the cloak of levitation. And this thing is fantastic. It's so cool. Um, I didn't know how to put it on him at first. I was sitting there and I was messing around with it for a little while. I'm feeling like an idiot. Finally I figured it out. Um, but uh, looking at the cloak itself here real quick. We've got uh, just some nice detailing. You know it's folded over. It's cloth at this scale. It's not going to be perfect. But for what it is it looks really good I think. There is a bendy wire in the uh, in the lining of this right here. There's not one in the back so the back just kind of flows however but in the sides of the cape there is a bendy wire that kind of keeps it up so no bendy wire bendy wire so 
that's what that is. Um, the back of the neck looks really good too. But here's the cool thing. You ready for this? How does it attach to him? You just put it on there and he falls over. No, you put it on there and it's just attached. It's magnets on his chest, on the inside of his chest, underneath his shirt. I don't know if you can see if there's little, little magnets to hold that on. How cool is that? The cloak of levitation and it just levitates there. Wonderful. So I think that's probably my favorite accessory that I've gotten from ESCO so far is that cape because that's just really cool that they did that. Um, they're always doing little things, you know, here and there that are just really cool. But that one, I think, takes the cake for this. But as much as I love that cape, I'm going to have to take it off here because we're about to go over articulation. Uh, actually, let's take a closer up look at Dr. Strange himself. Um, just look at that face. Looks great, right? Yeah, that's a good looking face. Got good paint on the hair there. Very clean. Just a good face sculpt in general. I love the way that Mezco does the, um, the skin tones. I think they've really nailed that. Uh, the cloth on this one is pretty good. Um, it does come up. This is the first time I've been able to see like a Mezco skeleton, kind of. I don't know if you call it a skeleton, but uh, the underbody. Um, but his looks pretty good. Kind of has a, you know, a few weird splotches and things like that. But at the same time, you're not really looking at that, so it's okay. Uh, on the legs, they are kind of weird. I don't know if you've ever seen these before. They've got the ball joints in there. And uh, while posing this guy around, he does tend to um, want to have one of those legs pop off. I kind of like to have him in that crisscross, reading the future from uh, Infinity War type position because I think that's a really cool look for Doctor Strange. And uh, when you do that, you tend to pop the hip out of joint, uh, getting it in there. So, oh well. But uh, anyway, let's talk articulation real quick. So we got the uh, double jointed neck like Mesco does, and I really do like that because you can get a lot of motion out of it. It looks up pretty good. He looks down really, really good. Uh, and then on top of that, you got a ton of attitude, ton of side to side, pivot. You've got the uh, rotation there, and you got the just all around. You got that neck, so I think that looks really good. Uh, at the shoulders, they go out, but they're pretty tight. I don't want to push it too far because I'm afraid that I'm going to break it. But uh, yeah, they do go out pretty good, right at about 90. There is no bicep swivel, unfortunately. Um, you do only have a single jointed elbow as well. So that's also unfortunate. But at the wrist, great articulation. We go down, we go up, we go, we can turn, and we can go side to side as well. So it's got that nice swivel um, with the uh, ball joint in there. So that's good. Uh, at the top of the torso, there is a rotation up in this area right here. So you can rotate him. And he rotates. I'm guessing he would go all the way around, but uh, I'm not going to push it. Same thing with the shoulders. They probably would go all the way around, but um, that little warning at the beginning. It comes with all the Mezcos tells you don't play with these things too much because you could mess them up and I believe them so um, same thing with the other hand though as far as that articulation goes um, so at the top there's not really much of a crunch uh, except for there's a little bit at the bottom it's more so at the bottom that you're getting the crunch and at the top is where you're getting the rotation so it's kind of a weird setup but uh, there's a little bit of crunch there forward and a little bit of crunch there back not a whole lot um, there is a little bit of side to side though, so you get a little bit of that side to side. Um, there is, like I said, just that rotation at the top there. Uh, at the hips, they go out pretty good, but you do start getting that kind of baggy pants and you feel like you're going to you know, push it too far if you keep going kind of deal. But uh, pretty good there. Um, they do go forward fairly well, and they even go back just a little bit too, so that's kind of fun. Um, there is a rotation at the top of the... Uh, at the top of the thigh there's a double jointed knee and it goes in pretty good not all the way but pretty good and then the uh, ankles go down they go up really good and there is an ankle pivot and I do have ankle pivot on both sides unlike the spider-man that I got he only I think one side was frozen on him um, but this guy he's got him and here's dr. strange next to another uh, mesco we got the uh, the 112th Iron Man and uh, I feel like they scale pretty well together. Iron Man is a guy in a suit of armor, and he's just a little bit bigger. I've got him kind of hunched right here, but um, he actually is just a little bit taller. Not a whole lot. Um, actually, about the same height, but Iron Man definitely looks bulkier. Without the cape, um, Doctor Strange looks you know, almost a little scrawny, but, I mean, he's just probably like an average-sized dude, so um, not too bad there. And here he is next to the Marvel Legends uh, Doctor Strange from the movie. Um, looking at these two side by side, uh, it's very apparent how much there's a little bit of a size difference there. 
the uh, movie figure is definitely a lot smaller than the uh, 112 collective one. But uh, is it just me or does this mask go look like Benedict Cumberpatch? Or is it just that Benedict Cumberpatch looks like Doctor Strange a lot? I don't know. You tell me. So there he is. There's the Mezco 112 Collective Doctor Strange. Um, all in all, I think it's a pretty solid figure. I uh, thank my wife for getting this one for me uh, for Valentine's Day. I'm a little late reviewing it here, but uh, it's a fantastic figure. I've really enjoyed it. Um, he does look great in that meditation pose. I'm probably going to have one of those up here at the end. But, uh, you know, what do you guys think? Have you uh, picked this one up yet? Uh, hopefully you have because it's uh, been out for a while now. But it's a great figure. Um, I highly recommend it. Mezco's just, uh, they're doing a great job with what they're doing. I don't think anybody else is really touching them as far as that market space goes. So, um, it is a higher price point. I think it's going to run you about $80 or so, but uh, definitely worth it. So, um, hit like, hit subscribe. Uh, let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. And uh, check me out over on Instagram, Luke underscore figure me out. In the meantime, keep trying to figure me out.